Hey there friends, how is it going? Today we're playing the movies, we're doing something a little bit different. If you didn't already know, I was hit by a car before as a pedestrian, and I never really told the entire story, so I wanted to make a movie telling you what happened. So this is the movies, this is what we're going to be using to tell my entirely 100% accurate retelling of how the car accident occurred. Okay, so who looks like me? No, you're the same as the first guy, you're the same as the first two, and you're the same as the first three. None of you look like me. Alright, you know what? You, even though you look the exact same. I pulled him out of the maintenance pool like he wanted to be a builder or a janitor. <laughs> it's the old cliche of like, you, <laughs> you're perfect. <laughs> and then they're like, me? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to be making my own custom script here. It's gonna be called The Incident, and it is not a comedy, it is serious. It's an action film. This is me, uh, this is strong female, this character's kind of made up just to, you know, fill in some blanks from the story, and this is bad guy. He's the bad guy. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I was wearing a cowboy outfit at the time, and strong female can be wearing a vampire dress for some reason. Oh yeah, that facial hair is perfect, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what the guy had. <laughs> I'm giving him a monocle too, because that, because that is what he was wearing at the time, as far as I remember. Okay. Okay, I have my script. I think it's very good and also it accurately tells the story of what happened. Now time to put it into production. Pretty much my whole movie's actors and director and whatnot, they're all people who wanted to be janitors. All right, we're scheduled for a 2nd of October 2002 release. I think we can manage that. It's already come back a day. What happened there? All right, begin shooting. I'm still trying to build the sets. The fact that it has a neighborhood, a rooftop and a war bombed street <laughs> really adds a lot of mystery to the script. Oh, also, we need the Wild West Saloon, Suburban Living Room 1, Sci-Fi Starship Bridge 2, and Graveyard. And I think that's it. Okay, how have we already pushed it back, like, to January of the next year? What has happened? I don't know why there's this, like, intense horror music playing when we're just feckin' making the movie. What the hell is going on? Oh, I already have a cosmetic surgery place? Okay, great, because I want to look really cool and buff. You know, I want it to be as realistic as possible. All right, get some implants. Whatever you want to really. <laughs> Just any implant. Okay, there we go. He got his implants. <laughs> Whatever the hell they are, I don't know. Unfortunately, he's already filmed like a few scenes, so this is going to be a bit weird. I had to film the whole thing with like three to four actors as well, so I'll ignore the fact a lot of the actors double up as other characters. A star from a rival studio has just joined our stage school line. Oh, a star from a rival studio? Oh, there's two of them. You can both be janitors. I made all the janitors actors, so fortunately for you, we have space in the janitor department. I know what you're thinking, this seems like sabotage. And you're right, we're not called dishonest productions for nothing. Jesus, we've gone back another year. <laughs> May as well get some more plastic surgery or something in the meantime. Get more implants. Bigger this time. A star from a rival studio. Jeez, the stars from rival studios keep coming. You can be a janitor too. He's really stressed out and miserable. He's trying to go and get drunk. No, you need to film now. I don't know why having constant surgery is upsetting him so much. It's for his own good. All these other actors are just throwing tantrums because they've been made into janitors. I mean, you could have just said no when I gave you the job. Oh no, he's going to get drunk. Stop it, dude. Come on, do your scenes. Okay, you know what? Watching that scene, I can kind of see why you're stressed. <laughs> One of your stars has been unhappy and is trying to quit. I'll save you the bother. There you go, you're fired. Have fun finding work. Oh, he's feeling better now. What's he doing? Oh, he's getting drunk. Okay, well, short-term solutions work for me. I just need you to finish the movie, and then you can go on with destroying your life. Oh, okay, good. It's just them threatening to quit. Here you can go. I thought it was someone important threatening to quit for a second. A star from a rival studio. Oh, cool. I want to actually hire you as an actor and just experiment on you. Here, have some images. Plants. I'm just gonna give you loads of surgeries and see what happens. Oh no, now the director is drunk too. Why does everyone who work on my movies resort to alcohol? Oh, stop it, come on, just work, please. Oh god, talk to him so he'll stop drinking too. Oh no, they stopped for a second and now they're both just going to get drunk. Oh, Adam is threatening to quit. Quick, give him more surgery. Look at him, he's just all bandaged up. His image is awful, the surgery's not working. At least he's happy though, even though actually he's not happy at all. He's very upset with his image and he's throwing a tantrum now. Well, you know what? You just don't appreciate everything I've done for you, which is kind of understandable as it destroyed your career. Okay, we're closing in on the last few scenes. We're only, what, 11 years overdue. I kind of gave up just trying to control their addictions, so I just kind of let them do what they want to do. As a result, the main character and the director are bloody miserable. The main actor can hardly walk. Uh, I was going to say in a straight line, but just he can't walk in general, but he's still needed on set. So come here, you. 
Christ almighty, we've gone so over budget. We've spent like a million and a half on this. Not to mention our studio has fallen from its fifth position all the way down to 10th. Oh, we're even behind Cream Boat Creations. And from their name, I'm guessing all they do is make pornography. Come on, just finish these scenes. Then you can drink yourself to death for all I care. In fact, do that. It'll definitely create more buzz for the movie. Jesus Christ, how does it feel that you've spent like 15 years of your lives working on this shitty film? It's a wrap. Is it done? Oh my God, it's finally done. Thank Christ. Okay, drink as much as you want now. Jesus, the director's feckin' miserable. I love how the movie's called The Incident. They could make a making of the movie and call it the same thing. The whole thing has been a disaster. Go on, generate some hype for this. I don't know how. Just sob, openly weep, and beg them to come to the theater to see it. Wait, is that the main character? Holy shit, what happened? I think he's just eating now. Is he? Oh no, he's a drink addiction. And I think he just started a food addiction. Oh Jesus, he's gonna look different in every scene. Here, quick, get some liposuction. The magic of Hollywood. All right, in the meantime, while you get your liposuction, then you can do some PR about the movie. I need to do some post-production because I'm doing all the voices for every character, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, the movie is fully produced and it's ready to go. I can't wait to see what critics say. I'm gonna give it the biggest release budget because I feel like it's gonna be a big one. It was like 20 years in the making. Two stars. Okay, something has gone wrong here. What are the critics saying? Consistently average direction throughout? The sets used in this movie were in pretty good condition. You know, I never cared what the critics said. I never expressed that. Okay, something has gone wrong here. What are the critics saying? Oh, Jesus, I exported it like with game sound so that, oh, feck's sake, I released the movie now and it's called The Incident with Game Sound 2. That's gonna hurt the box office. Okay, the revenue, it, it, oh, Jesus, it absolutely flopped and it ruined so many lives along the way. But you know what? I bet you'll enjoy it. So without further ado, here is The Incident, the real life telling of my car accident. Sorry I'm late, I was just helping the orphans down at the local orphanage. I adopted them all. Oh my god, yes! I meant to congratulate you on helping the orphans down at the local orphanage. Oh please, no need to bring that old thing up. I was doing that out of the goodness of my heart. Although that does remind me. I need to donate my entire paycheck to various charities across the country. <laughs> And after my intense workout, I better go out and see what other good I can do around the city. Here I go. Ooh, what an adorable baby. I know how to interact with these things. Look at this. Hello. Yeah, see? I don't respect your religion or you as a person. Oh god, I'm so pregnant. Evil! Oh, would you look at that? As I knelt down to tie my shoe, I realized there's a bomb here. Well, I best defuse this so nobody gets hurt. Yeah, see? I see a do-gooder. See? You seeing what I'm seeing? Well, this is a job for me, see? <laughs> I'm evil! Well, look at that. The do-gooder's dead. Well, do-gooder, even though you do seem to be kind of alive, you're clearly breathing and blinking. Now that you're dead, I'm gonna go do evil stuff. Oh my god, that guy is so cool. Did you see the way he jumped that car? Yes, he also slowed it so that it didn't hit a school bus, thus saving the all. Well, I'll be darned if I let anyone dig my grave. I'm gonna do it myself, because that seems like the polite thing to do. We are gathered here today in the most unusual clothing, because I was too lazy to set custom outfits to mourn the loss of Call Me Kevin. Uh, I kind of boxed myself in here, so I've risen from the dead to avenge myself. Yeah, see? Now there's no one to stop me in my evil deeds. There you go, um, person who does lots of good stuff. Yeah, I'm behind the bar in this scene. Yeah. Not so fast, evildoer. It's me. I'm back for unexplained reasons. Watch out, strong female supporting character. There are Nazis in here. Take them out. Stop right there, criminal scum. Freeze! Oh, why does everyone have to be female? For, oh, no, no, male, okay. Freeze, you! The whole town is evil, actually, so we're sending you to jail. No jail could ever hold me, as jail is for baddies and not me. You really thought you could get away with this one, didn't you? Being all good and goody two-shoes and such? Well, we're evil, so get in the cell, haha! <laughs> I have to get out of here. There's only one thing that can be done. Use my raw male peak masculinity to break out of this place. Uh, uh, uh. 
So do you think this movie is kind of weird? It might be weird, but sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. You'll never catch me, see? You see, the guy said I'll never catch him, so that's why I came here to space to try and get a, a helping hand. You seem capable, you are a new captain. Evasive maneuvers, move to the uh, the other side. There we go, done, that was nice. <laughs> Take this random family in the suburbs. <laughs> Mr. Evil Guy, that we never named or, or did we just call you bad guy bad guy we're here now let's fight kung fu style oh my god bad guy i'm sorry i was so focused on being a good guy that i didn't focus on being the bigger man are you gonna be okay i have a confession i am hitler and you must go defeat my army oh man i wish we had the budget to include a car in this scene oh yeah evil party oh yeah love love this party we're having we're nazis not so fast nazis trying to start world war three i suggest you end this violence we better do what he says he's riding a horse is this german i don't know <laughs> oh, shit we beg you please spare us we surrender everything <laughs> i don't know what's happening now what do, what do germans sound like well that's all in a day's work Job done, right, Chief? Well, almost, Kevin. There's still one thing left to do. You must go back in the past and kill baby Hitler. There, there, baby Hitler. Sleep soundly. I came here for the baby, but I guess you'll have to die, too. Take <laughs> this, baby Hitler. Goodbye. <sighs> well, that's World War 1, 2, and 3. Or no, just 2 and 3 avoided. Sorry. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. I, I did it. Now to ride off into the sunset and make videos. Another video uploaded. Just trying to make people happy. Wow, I'm a good person. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. Goodbye. Yay!